Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. I have some things that have arrived this week that I'm excited about. Our Salvino Kit of the Month came in, and it's a unique one, and we'll take a quick look at that. But I got some exciting stuff from MCV Products. Matthew at Model Car Videos, these are absolutely awesome. Got to share them with you, so stick around. Hey guys, just another show reminder on September the 7th in Greenville, Tennessee, the Appalachian Scale Modelers Association, and it is co-sponsored by our buddy Wes over at Wes's Model Car Corner, uh, will be having their uh, fall show in, uh, again, Greenville, Tennessee. There's your location. You can head over to their Facebook page and print you off a copy of the brochure. Also, you've got the host hotel information there if you want to make a weekend of it. Um, you can print that off. Also, you can print the categories, your model registration forms, as well as the uh, entry forms. So you can be ready as soon as you get there. So put that on your calendar if you're in the area. Okay, guys. Uh, first up, the kit of the month from Salvino's. Um, this month is a really cool kit. It's a, a 71 Dodge Charger, which is one of my favorites. If you're not a member of the Builders Club, um, and you want information you can go to Salvino JR models and uh, check it out and you can join the builders club there's some perks to that like free decals with your kit a sticker every month and check that out I think that's an aero coupe based on the shape of the window I think yeah look at the tail lights I'm thinking I'm gonna take my hobby knife I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna put it over here on my sticker among my stickers um there's no way i could get all the stickers on here so i've got a, a special book right now that they're all in but i'm going to be putting those on a on a card or a, a board to put to hang up i'll get untongue tied here in a minute uh, but anyway you get these you get an extra set of decals here's the camaro uh this is for the chase elliott uh, patriotic scheme that's your generic camaro trim and Salvino kits are molded in color, so all you got to do is add the decals. Check out those fine white pinstripes around that. Hope you can see that. And, of course, again, this is, was for the patriotic scheme for Chase Elliott. Cool, huh? All right. Uh, the kit of the month was the Bobby Isaac 1971 Dodge Charger. This thing is unique. I got to see Bobby driving this car in both uh, 70 and 71. Um, well, 69 as well at the racetrack. And there's something unique. You notice on the box art, this thing looks really red. Um, and if you remember the MPC kit that had the, uh, the 69 Daytona on it, and that's what uh, he won the Grand National Championship, the championship that year. And um, I remember seeing the car, and the first time I saw it, the box art was on the old MPC kit, and it was red. And then when I saw the real car a short time afterward, I thought, well, that's orange. And the car is really orange. It's actually Ford Poppy Red. Um, I don't know why they call it red, because it's more orange with a little red hue to it. And this thing is molded orange <laughs> um pretty cool huh and i pulled my m mcw paints out i want to do a quick comparison and as you'll see here the ford poppy red is a tinge darker i usually paint my cars anyway so it's not a big deal but um this is a little bright to my to my eye. Um, you could get away with it because on a bright sunny day, that's about what it was. But as you can see, that is that's a tone or two darker. And I've got the poppy red in the enamel too. And as you can see, it's again it, it's just more uh, well. If you if you go to RCR Racing's museum um, and and you look at the interiors too of the Earnhardt cars, uh, I was told by two two different people there 
poppy red was the interior color and if you ever look at the interior of uh, those Earnhardt Luminas and some of the early cars they're definitely orange um, and they were saying that, that it was actually poppy red which is what I painted my 32nd scale um, Lumina in as well as this poppy red uh, but overall, this is a great kit. It's the original 71, so it had the flat hood. Um, let's take a look at the decals real quick. That awesome chrome, and you've got the 70, yep, the 70, the early 71 and um, 72 bumpers in there. And comprehensive decal sheet and the decal placement sheet. And my buddy Clay Kemp is the one that does the artwork for these things. And they're printed, of course, by uh, Power Slide. And uh, these are cardiograph decals, so you don't have to worry about a lot of bleed through or any bleed through, really. But these things are really sharp. And that is my era of race car right there. Love these things. Uh, if you're not a member of the Builders Club, like I said, it, it's really worth it. Uh, so head on over and check them out. All right, let's get this thing put back up, and we'll get to some other goodies. Got a package from our buddy Matthew over at Model Car Videos this week. I had asked him. Uh, actually, we were talking about something, and he said, you know what, let me try to do something for you. And so I got that package, and I am really super excited about sharing that with you as well, because this is this is cool, guys. One of the things in the package was this. As you can see, I've got it ready to primer. I've already cleaned everything up, uh, sanded the little um, uh, pin marks where they're mounted on the, the 3D printing stuff. But check this out. This is a 351 Cleveland. And check all the stuff with it. A 1050 Dominator, uh, CHI single plane intake. The, it's got the nitrous plate, uh, 3V heads, long tube headers. Th this thing is cool. I mean, check that out. Love it, love it. And I tell you, this Dominator carburetor, let me get it off here real quick. I want you to look at the intricate if you can see it, the linkages there. The linkages, the mounts, all that stuff on both sides. Well, I'm getting out of the light there a little bit, guys. Well, that's not helping. But is that not just cool? Um, but everything's like that, guys. Uh, the transmission, the details on the heads, the valve covers everything is just really cool and if you're interested in one of these number e34 i am super impressed uh every part of it uh very very nicely done kudos matthew and that racing oil pan check that out well i don't know if that's helping or not there we go that's just cool that's just cool now, the other thing, um, my 32nd scale Lumina, it's getting, you know, I told you I was going to hold off on revealing that since that was supposed to be for Atlanta last year. And this year, uh, I was going to do the debut on it, and I'm, and I'm still going to. But the one thing that Matthew and I were talking about was uh, the engine. That kit engine, because it's a basic snap-together toy kit, and as much as I dressed it up, wired solder headers everything about it it just still to me looked too 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 toyish and i couldn't have it and so he had the chevy small block and he said you know what give me some dimensions and i shot him the dimensions for it and in the package check it out he shrunk down to 30 second scale a chevy small block and i mean i've got everything the intake um everything and there's a couple of engines so i've got two engines here um transmissions i want you to look at the linkage through here though guys let's see it well if you can see that 
This is 30 second scale. I am so excited about this thing. Now this is a 25th scale Holly carburetor. Cool, huh? Oh, let me get down here. Twenty-fifth scale. Is that not just wicked? That is just cool to me. Check this out. This is thirty-second scale. Well, so small I can't even keep it still. Check that out. Well, if it'll focus. You can see through the Venturis just like you can the 25th if it'll... Come on, focus up, guys. There we go. Is that not cool? I'm looking forward to this. And by the way, you can also, even in 30-second scale, check out the linkage. If I can get it still enough again that you can see the linkage again. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I am super excited about this thing. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, two of the engines, and uh, I, I, I don't know what to say other than Matthew. You the man. Thank you. I appreciate that big time because that was the one thing that I still... Sorry, guys. I'm reaching back here to grab something uh, that I was really concerned about was the engine just to and i look at it this way if it looked toyish to me it's going to look toyish to everybody else so this way i'm going to get to really dress up the engine and that was the one thing that i was was about uh, the only thing left on the 30 second scale and i'm still going to be a surprise so i'm not going to show you everything right now uh, i'll show you some of the in progress stuff here as you see this looked uh this was fun doing that some chassis shots and uh Here's one with the body on it. Buffed out the body. It just needs the, the decals, mount the hood and trunk, and, and it's pretty much done with the exception of the engine. And I'm going to do this uh, as I usually do a lot of them with an engine uh, displayed beside it so you can see the extra details as well as probably one in the car. And I may have the lines just hanging loose waiting for that engine to go in. Don't know yet. But uh, I, this is just, uh, Matt, you to man, like I said, it, that just made my day. Okay, lastly, something I had in one of my last videos, and I'm sure many of you thought, well, that's got to be one of Mark's jokes or something. Actually, it's not. Hippie dude hot sauce. It ain't cool, man. Um, this came in UPS today, finally. And if you are a lover of hot sauce, um, this is habanero scottish yellow uh, pepper this has got a lot of bad stuff in it um but uh some of my family most of my family absolutely drink hot sauce and uh so this got here today and i had to share this with you real quick a little laugh there um and if if this goes over with the family well i'm thinking i'm going to go ahead and order it maybe to sell on the channel i don't know yet but uh uh, it, it's pretty stout, guys. It really is. All right. That's everything that is new and exciting today. I'm going to go make some scrambled eggs and put some hippie dude sauce on it. Um, hope you all have an awesome weekend. Got uh, a couple things coming up. The phone booth, uh, there's some color on it now, and I'm going to let some of that cure out in the dehydrator for a day or two because it's enamel. And um, I'm, I'm tickled to death to show that to you, too. So God bless, guys. Y'all have an awesome one, and I will see you in the next video.